Alex, you talked about uh, MDT or Microsoft uh, Deployment Toolkit. Yes, I did. Uh, how's the session? Very good. Yeah. We got uh, the room was packed, so that was that was lovely. And yeah. um, I think we had a good session mm -hmm. in showing what the power of MDT is. Yeah. So how will MDT actually change the you know the change the world of IT pros? Well, especially for the for those people that are used to deploying, for example, Windows XP using mm -hmm. using Ghost. Um, now, Microsoft, all, they changed the operating system, so its deployments are now layered. Mm. So the operating system itself is different to the updates and the language packs and the drivers you add or applications. Mm. So MDT is the tool that actually gets everything together, all the tools together, and automate everything you need for the Windows deployment. Mm. So if you're, if you're going to mention three key takeaways from your session that the viewers can uh, you know, uh, get to explore later on, what would that be? Well, first thing I would do is um, uh, use MDT always when you do the window, uh, Windows deployment, mm. except for people are, that, that are using SCCM, they have a little bit more options. Mm. But MDT is a free tool, mm. which is easy to use to, for Windows deployment. That's, mm. that's one thing, yeah. so people should do that. Yeah. Um, the second one would be that MDT comes with a default set of options, so users get, the, get to see the default set of default set of questions asked during Windows setup. Yeah. You could automate everything and you can customize the way it looks. Mm. So by using, for example, the, custo the, the, the customized wizard editor tool for the MDT, mm. users are presented a different wizard, which yeah. has your own information that you want to tell your users yeah. instead of the, the information that, are, that is gathered by Microsoft itself. Yeah. That's the second one. So how, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Third one. Yeah. <laughs> Third one is that MDT could use a database, yeah. and this database really makes your deployment dynamic. You mm. could add, for example, UUIDs or MAC addresses and mm. pre, well, pre-stage some information into that database. Mm. So when the computer comes up to MDT, asks for a new operating system, mm. everything's in there, even for servers. So you could automatically create domain controllers, DHCP servers, DNS servers, mm. by just editing all, add, adding all those information mm. in the database in the pre-stage area, uh, pre-stage pre timing. Brilliant. So, how uh, three, a couple of resources for our viewers. Uh, what do you recommend them to do now to get started with MDT if they haven't already done so? Well, with MDT, it's, yeah. it's easy. Just yeah. go over to microsoft.com slash deployment. Yeah. That's where you'll download the MDT. Yeah. And in MDT, there's all the other links for the software you need to download. So, yeah. it's just a few clicks and you have you have set up your deployment machine. Hmm. Um, then, if you want to do more than just default MDT stuff, make sure that you go over to the weblog for the deployment guys, yeah. and especially search for Michael Niehaus. Yeah. He's, uh, he, he's the expert in MDT, and he has all kinds of good blog posts on how to customize everything you want. I think we'll put the links yeah, we'll down below the video. Yeah. We'll put it over here. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Well, thank you very thank much. You.